Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is evening prayer for Thursday, May the 5th. The scripture for this service, Psalm 18, verse 21 through 40, and Luke chapter 3, verse 1 through 14. O God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You rewarded me because I was just. Alleluia. Psalm 18. You rewarded me because I was just and repaid me, for my hands were clean. For I have kept your way and have not gone from you. Your judgments are all before me. I have never neglected your commands. I have always been upright before you and have kept myself from guilt. You repaid me because I was just and in my hand and my hands were clean in your eyes. You are loving with those who love you and you show yourself perfect with the perfect. With the sincere you show yourself sincere but with the cunning you outdo in cunning, for you save a humble people, but the but the humble but humble the eyes that are proud. You, O oh God, are my lamp, my God who lightens my darkness. With you I can break through any barrier, with you I can scale any wall. Your ways are perfect, your word is purest gold. You indeed are the shield of all who make you their refuge. For who is God but you? Who is a rock but you? You gird me with strength and make the path safe before me. My feet you made swift as the deer's. You have made me stand firm on the heights. You have trained my hands for battle and my arms to bend the heavy bow. You gave me your saving shield. You upheld me, trained me with care. You gave me freedom for my steps. My feet have never slipped. I pursued and overtook my foes, never turning back till they were slain. I smote them so they could not rise. They fell me, fell beneath my feet. You girded me with strength for battle. You made my enemies fall beneath me. You made my foes take flight. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You rewarded me because I was just. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 3, beginning in verse 1. In the fifteenth year of the reign of of the Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was king of Galilee, and Philip was king of the region of Ituria, and Trachonitis, and Licinius was tetrarch of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Ananias and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah. In the wilderness. John went into all the region around the Jordan proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord and make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. John said to the crowds that came out to be baptized by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits worthy of repentance. Do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. And the crowds asked him, What then should we do? And in reply he said to them, Whoever has two good coats must share with anyone who has none, 
and whoever has food must do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptized, and they asked him, Teacher, what should we do? He said to them, Collect no more than the amount prescribed. Soldiers also asked him, And we, what should we do? And he said to them, Do not extort money from anyone by threats or false accusations, and be satisfied with your wages. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O God, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, O God, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand, and the day is past. Be our companion in the way. Kindle our hearts, awaken our hope that we may know you as you are revealed in the scripture and in the breaking of the bread. And grant this for your tender mercy's sake. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.